it's uh, a whole lot different than I thought it would be. The first trip was right after Chris died, and it was uh, it was uh, you know step up to the plate and and deal with this, and it was beautiful, and it really was uh, something to be. Chris was, Chris was still in our presence, I think, at that point. I don't think so that he's here now, but he was on the journey with us. He trekked with us today. And I kept talking to him all the way here. And it was uh, just great. And I think it was where Chris started learning how to, to appreciate being with people, that happiness is best when shared. He had a quote, something like that. Because on his way out here, he had nobody to talk to and nobody to share with and all these beautiful wonderful things and images that he saw and sounds he heard he, he didn't have anyone to say oh, did you hear that or oh my gosh look at that he had nobody and I think that's when he started knowing that uh, how important it was to to love back to give back to people and uh, he he was always a good at that but now he realized that this what what's make it's what makes life go around, I think, is sharing with others, giving back. He was good. And uh, then he learned that it was important. But I think if he would have survived this, he would have been a leader amongst young people to, uh, to help them go along that trek, knowing that uh, it's, it's good to, to believe in yourself and it's good to have your own dreams. And when you're, you have them, you share them. Give other people an opportunity to know it's okay to dream too. I'm sorry. So what do you think of uh, all these people coming here? Because these of your are, son. These are all the type of people that Chris was. They believe in, in the Chris's purpose, and Chris's purpose is the purpose of loving and caring about other people. And that's what they're doing. That's what they're here for. This book that we're coming out with, Back to the Wild, it's going to fulfill a lot of uh, people's dreams, I think, right there. Face it, there's a lot of people, a lot of young people that just can't get out and do this, what Chris did. And uh, they, can, they can still get their answers from people like Chris. And everybody's out to help that happen. So how do you feel as a mom being out here? Again, almost 20 years later. If, if I tell you how I really feel, you probably will understand it, but I will tell you anyway. I am blessed. I am totally blessed to have had a son like Chris, to have him going down a path that he's on right now, teaching people still, even though he's not here, leading us all to a better way better life, open heart.